what is going on my fellow nerds yes it is that time of year merry christmas happy new years and that means ces is right around the corner i want to thank you for joining me for this video once again and you know the routine i go over what i'm expecting from the big boys at ces this year so first off let's get things started with lg All right, so LG SES never disappoints. They always have a few surprises up their sleeves. They always show off some big guns. So this year, what I'm expecting them to show off is obviously some new additions to their OLED line of TVs. Um, every year they come up with something new. They refresh uh, some of their previous years. So I'm expecting that from them this year. I'm not expecting them to show off an update to the A9 uh, processor, which is used to power the TVs to give us that clear picture. Um, Generation 2 was just updated last year. I don't expect them to announce any updates to that this year, but who knows? That may surprise us. Right. Also, um, last year, if you remember, the rollable OLED TV, which kind of rolls out of a box, which is more of a, like a statement piece or a piece of art. Uh, if you remember that from last year now that tv was supposed to release in the second half of this year 2019 that did not happen so what i'm expecting is for them to probably give us an update and a price give us an update give us a price and a release window for that tv which should be coming in probably the first half of 2020 so i'm looking forward to um, seeing that tv and getting more information about that Usually also at CES, LG likes to debut a few of their mid-range mobile phones. Um, last year, if you remember, they showed off the LG V40 ThinQ. Uh, so I expect them this year to show off some more mid-range uh, mobile phones as well. Um, I don't have any details as to what that could be. Um, nothing has um, been leaked or speculated at this point. So expect uh, something in the mobile range from them. Also on the PC front, um, LG has already announced that they will be uh, showing three new Gram um, laptops. Um, if you're not familiar with the Gram laptop series, these are very thin, very lightweight laptops of LG. Uh, when I was looking for a new laptop, I did consider the LG Gram, but I ultimately decided to go with the HP Spectre because I wanted a true two-in-one uh, foldable laptop. Um, so first, um, they will be refreshing the LG Ground 14, the 15, and the 17. And they also will be uh, showing a new 2-in-1 device uh, that will be an LG Ground as well. So just to give you a little bit of details about those, just a little bit, especially not going to get too much detail. Um, these are not 4K screens, so they'll just be 1080p. Um, the 2-in-1 will be a touchscreen. Um, they will be utilizing the 10th generation um, Intel core processor, which is Ice Lake. Um, they will have the integrated um, Intel UHD graphics, nothing spectacular there. Um, so the 14 and the 15, probably 17 inch, will also have up to 24 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Um, they will have um, Thunderbolt, at least one Thunderbolt 3 port on there. Um, the battery is expected to be 72 um, watt hours for the 14 inch variant and probably 80 watts and above for the 15 and the 17 inch variant. So you're expecting 20 hours of battery life, especially for the 14 inch one. So I'm not sure how you're going to, how much you're going to get with the 15 and 17 inch, but you, these batteries do last pretty long and pretty much all day for those. And the cool thing about the LG Ground Notebooks is that they are very light. We're talking less than three pounds for the 15 inch and the 17 inch variant of these laptops. So very lightweight laptop. So if you're definitely looking for a light laptop, I would definitely consider looking at the LG Gram. And I can't wait to get my hands on these at the show floor at CES. LG will of course be showing off some 8K TVs. Um, LG, so what you, LG is doing this year is that they are actually the first manufacturer to have the 8K Ultra um, HD certification, which is given out by the CTA, the Consumer Technology Association. Now, LG is branded these as the first real 8K TVs. Now, obviously, that has a shot at all the other manufacturers as they do not have this certification yet. So, shots fired by LG. 
Right, that is all I have for LG at this point. I'm going to be moving on to the other one, so I will see you in the next video.